Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Today we're taking a look at Squarespace, Wix, and WordPress to determine which of these website builders might be right for you. A few important notes before we jump in. First, I'll explain the pros and cons of these website builders, but at the end of the day, pricing may dictate where you end up creating your website, and that's okay. All three options in this video are fantastic platforms for building websites, and although I have favorites for different use cases, they're all perfectly capable of creating a website for your brand or business. Don't let cost be a barrier to getting your business or brand online. If you need a free or budget solution for a while, use it. My second note would be that there's no one best website builder for everyone. It really depends on your personal preference and needs. So with that said, let's jump in and start with Squarespace. Squarespace is very much the iPhone of website builders. It's simple, it works well, and it allows you to get a uniform, somewhat cookie cutter looking website with ease. Squarespace sticks to a minimalist black and white design language with pops of color here and there. The entire Squarespace editor is based on theme elements. The theme you pick has a series of colors and fonts associated with it, and Squarespace doesn't make it easy to change colors for just one element or pick a unique font for one section that's different from the rest of the site. I'll say it again, Squarespace is like the iPhone of website builders. It just works. It works well, it's smooth, but you're limited in what you can do. Squarespace points you in a direction to where you get a solid, professional looking website, but it does look kind of standardized. Squarespace sites have a look to them, consistent with the Squarespace styling. I can identify a Squarespace site 90% of the time just by seeing the standard fonts, animations, and elements on the page. With that being said, I have the most confidence in Squarespace when it comes to less tech-savvy users who may feel intimidated by the thought of creating a website. If this is you and you're worried that you won't be able to build your own website, sign up for the trial of Squarespace. I think you'll be surprised and refreshed by this simple experience. As far as pricing goes, Squarespace starts at $16 a month or $144 a year and goes all the way up to $54 a month or $480 a year. There's no free plan available, and for most people, the personal starter plan will work just fine to build your website. Squarespace does offer e-commerce features for selling physical products, services, or creating member-only areas for subscription services or online courses. Squarespace is a hosted proprietary platform, meaning you do not need to purchase web hosting separately. The code is stored on Squarespace servers, so you'll just need to pay for your domain name, Squarespace plan, and email hosting if you want a custom email address. Squarespace walks you through getting started with your website, and there are a lot of tutorials available to help you as you go. The drag and drop interface is easy to navigate, and I like the pre-built sections available that match your theme of choice. It helps you build pages efficiently and end up with a great looking end product without having a design degree. Overall, Squarespace is best for those who aren't tech savvy, you don't mind paying the monthly fee for your website, and you want a simple and elegant website for your business that's not too stylized or brand specific. If you have a very particular brand with exact colors, fonts, and style elements, Squarespace is not for you. I find that I fit into this category of users. I can appreciate Squarespace for what it is, and I recommend it somewhat regularly to people if I see that it fits their needs, but I find myself frustrated by the lack of easily adjustable styling on elements. I'm that guy who knows exactly what I want, I go in with a vision, and I don't need training wheels on my website builder to keep me in that minimalist, clean box. This brings us to Wix. Wix is the Android of website builders. Kind of. If you're just comparing Wix and Squarespace, then Wix would be closest to the Android experience. I say that because WordPress is ultimately the Android of website builders, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. You can do a lot more with Wix. Move elements around down to the exact pixel, change colors and fonts for every single element, and style stuff to be exactly as you like. If you want the complete what you see is what you get site building experience, Wix is for you. Wix has a lot of templates to choose from, or you can use the Wix Addy AI feature to build a basic website in no time. Wix can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. The drag and drop builder is intuitive and just makes sense. I love the customizability you get with Wix while still maintaining the drag and drop website building experience. 
While I personally stick to WordPress for 95% of my websites, I do have one Wix website and I've enjoyed the time I've spent with Wix. It's certainly not quite as flexible or powerful as WordPress, but it's nice to just drop in the editor, swap a few things around and publish my changes at the end of a long day. That's something I can't say about WordPress. Wix is more expensive than Squarespace with plans starting at $18 a month or $168 a year. Wix does offer a free plan, but your website can only be hosted on a Wix subdomain. And there is pretty aggressive Wix advertising unless you pay for a premium plan. But overall, I'd say Wix is the best fit for anyone looking to create a drag and drop website that matches your company's branding. If you have a vision for colors, fonts, and styling, and you want things to look a certain way, Wix is great for bringing that vision to life. Wix gives you power and control over the visuals, but it's not overwhelming to the less tech savvy users. I especially love the Wix phone support. I've had questions a few times and when I call, they can walk me exactly through the solution and understand my question clearly. Squarespace does not offer phone support, so if you'd like to be able to call and speak to a person, Wix is the way to go. Where Squarespace might be considered a website builder with training wheels that keeps things restricted to keep you in that black and white minimalist look, Wix takes the training wheels off. Using Squarespace is sort of like hiring a UI designer. They're going to point you in a certain direction and keep your site to a clean, professional look. This is not a bad thing. I like the simple and elegant look of a Squarespace site, but they're definitely trying to keep you in a certain box. With Wix, you are the UI designer. You have templates to start with as a base, but once you start modifying things, colors, fonts, and element placement are entirely up to you. Just like Squarespace, Wix is a proprietary hosted platform. You do not need to purchase web hosting to use Wix. Just have a domain name, pay for your Wix plan, and purchase email hosting if you want a custom email. Last up is WordPress, and before diving in, I need to clear up a common misunderstanding about WordPress. There are actually two versions of WordPress, and they are wildly different from each other. There's WordPress.com, and this is a hosted platform with proprietary aspects, much like Squarespace and Wix. Chances are, if you Googled WordPress, you just ended up at WordPress.com and assumed that's what WordPress is. Well, I'm not gonna get too deep into the differences of WordPress.com and WordPress.org in this video, as I have an entire comparison video on the topic, but I'll say this, WordPress.com can be great if you absolutely need a free website hosted on a WordPress.com subdomain, and the personal plan of WordPress.com can be a great fit if you want a convenient blogging platform that's intuitive and elegant, but for the simplicity of this video, I am not referring to WordPress.com when I talk about about WordPress. Watch my other video for more info on the two variants of WordPress, but from now on, I'll be referring to WordPress.org. WordPress is a free open source platform where you bring your own web hosting. This means you'll need a domain name and you'll need to purchase web hosting from somewhere like Namecheap or Dreamhost. You can get decent hosting for as little as $3 a month, or you could go all out and get baller hosting from WP Engine for $30 a month. But trust me, the $3 a month hosting is just fine. The WordPress code works on your web hosting account and most hosts make it extremely easy to install WordPress to your web hosting and get started. WordPress is best for tech savvy users who want ultimate control and customizability of every aspect of their website. If you want the plain and simple, what you see is what you get drag and drop website builder, do not use WordPress. The WordPress editor is this weird mix of menus, dropdowns, checkboxes, and new aspects like a bare bones drag and drop page builder that's been in development for years. But this is just vanilla WordPress. Nothing about WordPress is standardized. 99% of WordPress users rely on third party themes and page builder plugins to enhance their experience. Want a drag and drop page Builder, you can get that with a WordPress plugin like Elementor. Want a contact form? You can use Contact Form 7 for that. Email list opt-in pop-up? You can use Sumo for that. There's a plugin for everything, and WordPress is insanely powerful and can make epic websites. It just takes a lot of time and dedication to learn. With WordPress, there's no official customer support. Typically, your WordPress theme developer will offer support, and you can also turn to the WordPress community online for help. Remember, it's a free and open source platform. There's no WordPress staff, and your web hosting company is ultimately the company responsible for keeping your website online. 
WordPress is just free code that runs on your web server. If you're not the most tech savvy and you aren't the type of person to tinker, do not try and build a WordPress site yourself. If you determine that WordPress is the best fit for your business but aren't tech savvy, you may want to find a developer in your area who can help you build your site. Quick side note, I am referring to building sites like corporate landing pages or a site for your local business when I talk about WordPress. I actually find that WordPress is pretty easy and straightforward and intuitive for non-tech savvy people as a blog. So if you're wanting to have a blog, WordPress is immediately elevated to the top platform. There is no no comparison. Squarespace and Wix are not nearly as good for blogging, but I'm just talking about websites first. Now, I'm not really getting into if you have a website plus a blog or a blog tab on your website. If you're primarily wanting a website to represent your brand, whether it happens to have a blog page or not, that's kind of what this video is about, not for bloggers. Now, it may seem like I'm being mostly negative about WordPress, but in reality, I just want you to understand what you're getting into if you go down this path. There's a reason WordPress powers nearly 40% of the internet. It's powerful. Because it's free, open source, and so widely used, the sky is the limit with what you can do on WordPress. You can customize everything about your WordPress website, giving you much more freedom than you would ever get with Wix or Squarespace. You could build an epic landing page for your business, host a blog, run an e-commerce store, or a membership community. If you know exactly what you want in your website and you know you want total control over every aspect, WordPress is for you. WordPress is hands down my website builder of choice, but I've spent years toying around with it, picking up tricks, and learning the interface. If you are interested in learning WordPress, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out Krayler Academy and the link in the description. I'm launching my course on building a WordPress site from start to finish in just a few weeks, and you can get it for a heavy discount if you sign up now for my interest list. So to summarize, Squarespace is best for less tech savvy users who aren't interested in being a UI designer. If you just want to get in and get out and leave with a clean, polished, professional website for your business, Squarespace is a great choice. If you want the ultimate drag and drop experience where you can customize every aspect of the visuals, Wix is a great option. It's a straightforward builder and doesn't take much technical knowledge, but you will still have total control over every aspect of the look and feel of the site. And finally, if you're tech savvy and want to control every aspect of your website down to custom features and plugins, WordPress is for you. WordPress is also the cheapest option, only costing you the price of web hosting. I do want to stress the importance of finding the right website builder for you. There's no easy way to transfer your website to and from Squarespace, Wix, or WordPress. Once you build your website with a particular website builder, you're kind of stuck, and you'll need to start over from the ground up, copying and pasting text into your new website builder if you decide to switch. Certainly don't lose sleep over the decision, but I would encourage you to try at least all three of these website builders to see which one you gravitate towards. Squarespace offers a two week free trial, Wix offers a free version that still gives you tons of features, and WordPress is free to try offline on your computer with a program called Local. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below and I'll try my best to respond. So which website builder did you pick? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. Be sure to check out the link in the description below for Krayler Academy and learn how to build your WordPress website from start to finish. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.